Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I will be creating a 90s inspired super glam brown toned makeup look. I am just obsessed with this look and the products that I'm gonna use in today's video. So I will be using a new eyeshadow palette today and I used that palette to create this bronzy eye look. I'm just obsessed with the palette and it has got some stunning shimmer shades. So let's get started. Let's begin with moisturizing. I'm using the Bioderma Ectoderm Cream to moisturize my face and give it some life. This is a really thick moisturizer that I love wearing under my foundation. It gives me a very nice glow. Then I am going to moisturize my lips. My lips feel extremely dry and flaky these days so I use a thick lip mask to keep them moisturized till I get to the lipstick. For blurring my pores, I'm using the Sugar Blur Stick. I am applying it in the areas where I have prominent pores, which will be my T-zone. It's a really good primer stick. I find myself using it a lot these days. After applying, you need to make sure that you're pressing it in with your fingers. This primer makes your skin very smooth and soft, absolutely ready for foundation. For foundation, I will be using the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation, another product that I am obsessed with these days. This is such a beautiful foundation and the formula is outstanding. I can blend it with my fingers, I can blend it with my foundation brush and with a sponge as well. I can do a super natural look with this foundation and a full coverage look as well. This foundation blends into my skin like a dream. Especially the shade 155 White Tan is amazing. It matches me so well. I love this foundation for my skin. Totally worth the money. You can see it looks super glowy and it also looks very very natural that's why i like blending it in with my fingers for concealer i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer in medium i'm applying it under my eyes on my chin and forehead and for blending i am going to use the pack 218 concealer brush by the way you guys i've linked all the products in the description box so please check out the description box in case you want to know more about a certain product. This is a really good concealer brush. If you're a beginner, you should give it a try. For setting my face, I'm using the Nykaa Compact. This launched a few days ago, I think, and I'm in the shade Olive, which is 05, if I'm not wrong. I like this powder a lot. It will not make your base 100% matte so I'm able to see a little bit of glow without creasing, which I really love. Then I'm using the NYX Microbrow Pencil to fill in my eyebrows. I have been shaping my eyebrows at home for a year now and I feel that my eyebrows are thicker now. I shape them once in like two months and I remove extra hair with a tweezer whenever I spot them. I don't thread all the time which I feel is more healthy for my eyebrows because they look better now that I have stopped threading them. To set my eyebrow hair in place, I'm using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Next, I'm using the NYX Eyeshadow Base and applying it on my eyelids. I'm also using a little bit of the product to carve out the lower part of my eyebrows. I don't want it to look super carved, that's why I'm using the least amount of product. That way it looks very diffused and your brows don't look like block brows. Next, I'm using the same compact which I used for setting my face and applying it all over my eyelid to set my eyeshadow base. Again, we want it to be slightly tacky, not too tacky. Let's get to the eyeshadow. Now, Delora Jones is a high-end luxury brand. It's a new brand in India. The eyeshadow palette costs Rs. 3,999 and you get 12 shades out of which 4 are matte, 2 metallics and 6 shimmery shades. The shimmers have my heart. Most of them are duochrome. Some of them are even trichrome. All the shades are super pigmented and you can create so many different looks with this palette. The cherry on top is the packaging which is very luxurious and classy. The palette is super light and it has a cardboard 
packaging and the shade names are given right below the shades which makes my job very easy i am starting with the shade umber which is a matte brown first i apply it in my socket then i focus it in my outer v and ultimately i'm gonna take it to my inner corner where i diffuse it into my eyebrows Then I use a clean blending brush to blend it out and again I take the same shade, build it up and then blend it out. I do this about 2-3 to three times and this gives you a very very blended effect plus the shades are very blendable and buildable you guys. This has got some kickback on the pan but the shades are super pigmented and they are very very blendable. Then I'm using the same shade for my lower lash line for which I'm using a flat dome shaped brush. Then I'm picking the shade Night on the same brush with which I applied the brown but this time I am going to focus it into the socket and the inner corner. Then I'm applying the same shade which is Night on my lower lash line as well. For shimmer first I will be using Rani which is this beautiful trichrome shade. It has an olive base with reflexes of gold and a hint of red which makes it trichrome. So I'm just patting this shade with my finger. I'm using the shade Nefertiti on top of Rani which again is a trichrome shade. It looks champagne but has reflexes of green and blue. I also want to let you know that the shimmers do have fallout so you have to be careful there. Either you do your base makeup after the eye makeup or you can also wet your brush and use these shades that way you'll get less fallout. Then I'm taking the Maybelline gel eyeliner and I'm using it to tight line. I will also be applying a little bit on my lower lash line and sort of closing the inner portion of my eye with this eyeliner. Then I'm taking the shade Wisdom which is a duochrome shade. It looks white and gold at the same time. I'm applying it on my brow bone. For powder contour, I'm using the Sugar Contour De Force palette. I'm keeping it very subtle and blended. So I'm just using a small brush and focusing it just in the areas where I want the powder contour to be. For blush, I'm using the Color Bar Cheek Illusion Blush in Coral Bliss. The brush that I'm using here is from Miniso. For highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Highlighter in the shade Precious Petal. And I'm applying it on the high points of my cheekbones, on my nose and a little bit on my chin as well. Now let's get to lips. For my lips, first I'm using a lip liner. This is the K-Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Fame. I'm just gonna line my lips with this one and then for lipstick I'm using the Nika Matte Luxe Lipstick in the shade Avocado Toast. So that's it for the video. I hope you like this look. Do check out the Molten Bronze Eyeshadow Palette by Delora Jones. If you are into high end luxury makeup, I am going to link it in the description box. The shimmers are amazing, something that I have never seen before in my life. I am obsessed with this palette and lastly, they did an awesome job with the color scheme. I feel these shades will work on light, medium, dusky, deep, all skin tones. And I can't wait to create more looks with this palette. And that's it. Do give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!